This is what you call a brush pile. Guys, I'm gonna get down here and fish this brush pile on both sides of the stream. It's a rice land ditch. Completely clogged up the river except a little thing goes around that other side. You talk about huge, this thing is 10 foot tall and probably 15 foot wide. Big old ditch coming down, just totally clogging the river. This thing is gonna be loaded with fish. Let's see what's in here. If he gives me a third time. There he goes. Pull it under, buddy, there you go. Oh yeah, this is a big fish, whatever it is. Holy cow, what do I got? It's gotta be a drum. It could be a big cat. It's a channel cat. All right, I'll take him. He's decent. <clears throat> Pretty decent, guys. A little two-pounder. Little bastard swallowed the hook, though. Of course. That is not bad sized. Nice little channel cat. He sure did. There ain't no way I can get that even with pliers. Oh, my. Not bad at all. Heck yeah. Well, looks like I gotta tie another hook on because they're notorious for swallowing hooks here in southeast Missouri. Now, if I lose my bobber, I'm screwed. I grabbed them, set them on my porch outside as I was leaving, and then got distracted by something else. As I was loading the car, oh, there's a big old buffalo, and uh, left my tackle box full of bobbers right there on the front. Probably a big one laying in the car. If I lose this bobber, I am completely out. Too far to go. Definitely a channel cat again. Oh. Nice one there, guys. I will take them all day long for sure. Male starting to get his tuxedo on. Looks like I'm gonna have to get pliers out. Yep, without a doubt. Almost eating size like you'd buy in the grocery store. Not quite, but getting there. Nice mail that time. Alright. And I'm officially dirty and stinky. And have no wet wipes though. Can't get to the water to wash my hands. Good time. Southeast Missouri. Here, sunfish. Let's look at the colors on her. Beautiful. Now that's the bluegill I'm after right there. Jumbo, beautiful male. Instantly got better fish, guys, taking that bobber off. And I'm just fishing right in front of me. Two foot of water. Now that is a big, that's one of the most perfect looking bluegills I've ever seen.
or just fish. Now that is what one of the things I came for right there. Oh my, I got a buffalo. Yes. Desire, one of the desired species. Oh, he's got me hung bigger. Nope, it's a, nope, it's a drum. Darn. He was so dark gray, I thought it was a buffalo. He made his little drumming noise. About two pounds. Almost six, yeah, three. Three pound drum. Nice enough to give me my hook back. That's a plus. Where's that? A lot of big fish right here in front of me, guys. Sometimes it is not necessary to cast all over the place. There is times you can sit in one spot and catch fish for a long period of time. And this is one of them circumstances. He wasn't quite up to three mark. Not at the three mark. All right, we're gonna add some. Get busy. Boy, I was hoping that was a buffalo. They're in here, but they're over inside. That you'd almost have to climb on that log over there and set to catch a lot of the good fish, including probably the flathead. That's a beautiful long ear there. <clears throat> well, it was until I got it all dirty. I have decided I'm going to go up on this road, go to the other side, walk down those rocks, and set on that log right there, parallel to the actual brush pile. I'm going to get in the shade, and I'm going to set on that log just right and jig this worm inside that brush. Let's see what happens. And every move I make will also... This ain't gonna really be that sturdy, guys. I don't know about this. Really no good place to set my stuff either, except on that concrete behind that. It's pretty sturdy, I guess. Yeah, I think it can handle me. This one I don't know so much. Looks like I may be able to set my stuff right here behind me. Now that log 
dog definitely can't handle me. Okay, I'm gonna have to. It's not gonna be real easy when I get a big fish either. Okay, this c cannot handle me very well. There we go. What about the one below me? Oh yeah, okay. Looks like I'll be able to set my worms right here. Boy, oh, it's not the sturdiest. Put my worms here. My spare pole pretty much in the same place, standing up. for my backpack or I'm gonna have to end up wearing the damn thing. I don't want to do that so let's set this pole down. We're gonna figure out the backpack situation. I can probably set the backpack on this brush. figured out now we just got to get a worm on here in fact I got to get the worms out where they're available to me like so put a worm on we're going to see if this changes the game should be a lot more fish over here should be may be preferring the sun right now. This may be a waste of time. But how are you ever going to know without trying, guys? There's got to be something over here because I've seen them since I've been here moving around. And what I'm going to do is just sit right here, I think. Like so. All right. Now this is what you call a brush pile. Look at this, guys. And I'm in the center of it. Talk about getting right on top of the fish. This is that example. Current wanting to suck my weight out. I almost gotta upgrade my weight. Oh, there's something. Instantly, guys, bigger bluegill. Oh yeah. A lot bigger than I was catching over there for the most part, except for one nice male bluegill. About six and a half, maybe seven inches. I'm gonna throw all these fish behind me so I'm not scaring the ones directly in front of me. Nice long ear, guys. Not a bad little fella. I'll take him. Very pretty, actually. Really pretty fish. Yep. appears to be going on over here guys is I'm not getting as many fish as quickly but the quality is there I'm getting better quality fish like this a nice bass my first bass of the day on a worm you just never know guys not a bad little bass about a pound Another long here. And 
this is uh, definitely a female. Got the very blue cheeks going on. Instead of orange, lots more blues. It started out to be a good day, but now just it just kind of went downhill. I don't know what's wrong. Thought it would be a good evening. I usually tough it out till dark, but it's uh, six ten and I'm giving up. It just ain't they ain't biting like they was. I still had some fun. I caught the two nice channel cats, a couple nice long ears and bluegill, one bass and one nice drum. Good variety. Did not get any buffalo or bowfin or flathead like I had hoped. But, uh, you know, still okay. Alright, guys. The brush pile I will return for sure. Alright, you guys, take care.